Okay, so this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to clean up your audio clip in Adobe Audition in less than one minute. So first, we're gonna go ahead and take it slow on this clip so I can explain everything. And then for this one, we'll go ahead and just do it in less than one minute. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is keyboard shortcuts. You gotta set them up. And the most important ones are dynamics, hard limit, normalize, and then check loudness or match loudness is shift W for me. You can make them the same if you want. Um, I think this to me just makes a lot of sense and I'm very used to it. So I press these as like second nature basically. And then from here, in order to set them up, like you can look for it dynamics and then you can click right here and press a, a key and it'll basically set it up as the shortcut. All right, from here, we start with noise reduction. So this is a default shortcut. We gotta look for noise. So you can tell that this is noise when you play it. So highlight it, shift P, click away, and then command shift P. And anywhere between 50 to 70% is good. Somewhere around 10 decibels is good. And then spectral decay rate and all the other stuff. You can just make it the same and then apply. As you can see, a lot of the noise has been reduced. That's just a before and after. And then right after that, we go ahead and hard limit. As you can see, there are some peaks that clipped and the main audio is closer to around, I probably say in between negative six and 12. So I feel comfortable just hard limiting around negative six. So these are the settings that I have, if you want to copy them. And then for clips like this, where it's stereo, where you see a left and right channel, what you want to do is convert it to mono. So this can be done at favorites, convert to mono. Or if you set up a shortcut key like I did, shift K, you can do it pretty quickly. And now you see that it's um, mono. All right, now let's zoom in on this one by shift S. And then the main audio to me looks like it's around negative 14. So I'm going to compress around negative 15 just to just to be a little faster about things so we don't have to like match loudness stuff later. So the threshold right here is what I set. Ratio is always going to just be three. Attack and release, I just keep the same all the time. As you can see, it did its job before and after. Before and after. And then from there, normalize. Let's take a, take a listen. This is... Sorry, quick, quick insert here. I think that if... Um... Yeah, it sounds um, pretty good in terms of loudness to me. But let's go ahead and see what Audition says. All right, negative 20 LUFs. That's pretty good. Um, our target is negative 19 LUFs. So right here, honestly, we could just increase it by, increase the entire thing by one decibel if we wanted to. But another way of doing it so that we don't go over negative three decibels, since that's sort of where we want our audio to peak at, it's, um, we want to avoid it being close to zero, basically. So especially since we have multiple audio since we're gonna have multiple audio files like stacked on top of each other, it's it's just safer to have it as um, like somewhere below negative three decibels. So what I'm gonna do is hard limit at negative four. And then as you can see before and after, it really didn't do too much. So it didn't destroy anything. And then normalize, and that increases everything by one decibel and match loudness will now be negative 19, hopefully. Let's see. Yes. Okay. And we're basically done with that one. So before I do the editing for this clip in under one minute, I just want to explain why you would want to do this in the first place. Um, for a lot of my videos on my channel, Dreamlit, for instance, I always clean up my audio. Like I take a lot of time cleaning it up. 
um, silencing any noise like this. Um, also, by the way, if there's extra noise, like it's very audible, you can noise reduce again and it won't affect the loudness. So I just took a noise sample and reduced noise again. And this shouldn't hurt the, the main audio either, as long as you're taking a good noise sample. He plays a bunch of characters. The guy, he plays a bunch of characters. For example, if the, if the, act, the actor or actress that is... Yeah, so I just did a before and after, and it sounds pretty much the same. Um, the room was definitely a little echo echoey, so the audio isn't like as good as it can be, but that's totally fine. And for what I was going to talk about just now, before I edit this in less than one minute, I just want to say the reason we're doing this is because um, whenever we record for our channel, Blue Lotus, it's a lot of audio clips. Um, we're recording for four to five people, usually during a session, and we're usually recording four to five videos. So that is right about 16 to 20 video, uh, 16 to 20 different audio clips that you have to edit. Um, and we're trying to record weekly. So 20 audio clips weekly is a lot of audio clips. And if I wanted to do what I did for Dreamlit and like go and silence these parts and uh, make sure that the audio sounds like the absolute best it can be, it's gonna take forever. So the reason you would wanna do it really fast and just optimize the audio as fast as you can is so that you save a lot of time because each video takes a very long time to make. Um, even if it's just um, the Blue Lotus videos that have a thumbnail slapped to it, be, slapped on as the visuals because um, first you gotta make that thumbnail, then you gotta clean up the audio for each person, then you gotta sync up that audio, then you gotta go through the process of rendering the video in Premiere and making sure everything fits together. And then after that, you gotta upload it onto YouTube, create the description, the title, the, um, the tags, you gotta schedule it. It's just a lot of stuff for each video. And to do that like four to five times, it's a crazy lot of time. Um, so wherever you can become more efficient, you should be. And this is still good audio. like even though we're not polishing it up to be the best it can be, it's still good enough to the point where um, I'm satisfied with it or I'm happy with it um, for the video. So with that said, like if you're watching this tutorial and you know you don't have that many audio clips to edit and you're just doing one, uh, don't follow this. I mean, you can follow this method, but like take your time with it. Um, Cause this is basically also what I do with my other audio clips, the same process is just, I take my time with it, listen to more areas, um, take individual areas and normalize those areas or increase and decrease the, the volume to make sure it matches. Um, but this specific tutorial is for how to edit like really fast um, in those situations where you have like 20 clips to edit or something. So let's go ahead and do this in under a minute and let's start the timer now. I'm not gonna explain anything, I'm just gonna do it. Ready, let's go. Convert to mono. Actually, I will explain things. Noise sample. This one, there's a lot of noise, so we might have to do it twice. Yeah, let's do it twice. This one's also a little stranger that the audio right here is, a lot of it is peaking, so this one is higher, but I still feel comfortable because the main audio is here. It's just really cool. It just, it just, it just, it just, wow. Like I, I love it. So a lot lower, so I'm safe. I feel comfortable with just hard limiting around negative three. And the main audio does look to be around, I'd say negative 18 is a safe choice. Not necessarily safe, but um, a good choice to do this fast. And then let's go ahead and check the loudness. And now it's too loud, so negative 18 was too strong. So I'm gonna undo that twice, and let's go with negative 16 instead. And let's check it again. Now it's negative 19, awesome, we're done. That's it. 
um, this, this video is mainly made for a teammate so that um, she can help me with some of the audio editing so I don't have to you know do 20 each week um, plus my other videos as well. Uh, so it's this is all we pretty much need to do. If there's like sections like this, this is actually just noise. Um, we can just leave it. It's honestly not that noticeable when someone else is talking at the same time. Um, so don't worry too much about making the audio like super polished or anything. We don't need to do that, especially with the amount that we have to do. This is the best way, in my opinion, to just uh, get the job done, get it uploaded. And I guess for the more special videos, um, we can take more time with those. But in terms of how to clean up your audio like really fast for each clip, this is how you do it. Um, I know I went pretty fast for this one. That's because I know all the shortcut keys really well. And I've done this probably over 100 times by now. So you just... Once you, once you get the hang of it, it just comes second nature, pressing these keys, and the process just comes second nature as well. Um, but yeah. Hey, I don't want to go to Boston say It looks worse. Okay, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, it went on a little longer than I wanted it to, but hopefully the slow part helped out in, in terms of just um, helping you understand what each thing does. Um, but this is just a quick one. Um, as for people watching this who are not my team members, let me know if you guys have any questions or want me to cover anything else about this process. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, if you're curious about the channel that I'm making this stuff for or editing this stuff for, I'll go ahead and link it below.